Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> What's up, you guys? Finally, and it's looking beautiful. The snowflakes are huge. It's January 20th, 2024, and we are doing this. We're not gonna take Big Bear Boulevard. As, we're gonna take as little of it as we can, but we're gonna go around the lake right now. I have a live feed up at my house right now, so if you guys wanna just go over there if you want and just hang out watching it snowing live, talking to a lot of other people, Go enjoy yourselves. I'll be back to the house in about 45 minutes to enjoy the video or enjoy chatting with you guys live. So I'll see you soon. But as I said, I've got a live feed up right now as we speak. So hopefully you go over there and enjoy it. Uh, this is this is great. This is great. Temperature's 36 degrees. Here's the live feed. <laughs> so cool, you guys. So cool. We are on Fox Farm Road, and as I said, we're just going to take all these side streets to get to uh, get back to Big Bear Boulevard for a short period. Of t well, not a short period of time. As soon as we get to Taco Bell area, we got to stay on on the boulevard all the way till we get to the dam. But we're going this direction to avoid the traffic coming into town. Oh, look at these big, gorgeous snowflakes, guys! This is just so beautiful. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Happy times, man. Happy times. So we could get up to six inches of snow, you guys, is what the forecast is saying now. So it almost doubled in the past few hours of what we could get within the next 48 hours. So Fingers crossed, that does happen. I know a lot of you skiers and snowboarders and people who just generally love the snow like me, that's what you're hoping for. So let's do this. And then don't forget, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard for your, for your ski rentals and snowboard rentals. And they also rent ski and snowboard clothing. $25 for the, for, for the pants and jacket which is uh, just a smoking deal. And it's quality stuff too. I didn't know that, these, that they offered something like that. So that can save you four or $500 right there. And it's good quality stuff. They sell super high end stuff there too. But also if you bring your own skis and snowboards into get boards, they will wax them for free if you mention that I sent you in there. And a good waxing is always good for hitting the slopes. When I used to ski a lot better and ski a lot more frequently, many years ago, I would never go on the mountain without waxing my skis. And it was always a process. They'll do it for you, you guys, for free. So that's pretty darn cool. The owner, Tony, is so freaking cool. One of my best friend's girlfriends, Lena, works there also. I believe at the ski shop. So tell Tony and Lena, I said, what's up? And then some cool cat who I met, his name is JT. Say hi to JT for me, you guys. But yeah, definitely the best rental place on the mountain. If you buy your lift tickets through getboards.com 72 hours in advance, it'll save you a significant amount of money as opposed to you going straight to the ticket counter on the day you're going skiing. So. Buy it three days early online at Get Boards and you'll save some good money, guys. Again, anything I can do to help. Anything I can do to help. All right. We are on Knight Avenue, K-N-I-G-H-T. We're taking this to Big Bear Boulevard and uh, of course, since we're on this side of town and it's actually snowing, beautiful snowflakes, we're gonna drive through the village and then head out around the lake, folks. This is gonna be a beautiful drive. Temperature's just dropping like crazy. 34 degrees, I don't know if you can see it behind the, the phone there. But 34 degrees, y'all. Oh. Yeah, you gotta look both ways. All right. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here. No signal, nice. Guys, that's just standard procedure up here. <laughs> Seriously, people don't pay attention. They don't turn on their signals and stuff. So just, just be extra cautious. 
I'm sure most of the time they're they're frantic because of these types of conditions. So we got to give them a break, you know. Just be extra cautious because people are going to be doing some some crazy maneuvers up here, and in these conditions, that's never good. Always be. I, I mean, seriously, really be watching out. I don't want anything to happen to y'all. Why did this guy just stay here? Aye, aye, aye. Wow, looks like there's a lot of traffic going in, in, into the village. And then also, you guys, I, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I, I stayed at the Sessions Retreat and Hotel. Super great place, and I couldn't believe how affordable it was. The owner cares a lot about you guys. Like, it was shocking how cheap it was. So check out Sessions Retreat and Hotel, and the owner's name is Frank. Tell him that you heard about it through this channel, and I'm pretty sure he's going to hook you up because he wanted to give me a discount code for you guys. So once the up once the video's uploaded, there will be a discount code there. I just I'll be uploading it in the next week or two. I just want to upload it when it's not surrounded by snowstorms because I want the video to get some decent views because he's a good dude. He deserves it. And then for your Airbnb stuff, contact me directly because we have a really good friend of of, of the channel who did the giveaway for you guys of his Airbnb for free. He said if it's someone from this channel, he'll definitely give you a nice discount. So we got some options, folks. We got some options. And I promise you, I'm never going to refer you something just because I like the person. The product has to be good because I want you guys to enjoy yourselves and have a great experience. All right, we're in the beautiful village. The beautiful village. Guys, this is just heaven on earth for me. It makes me so happy. I don't even know. Oh, I forgot to mention. BigBearWeatherAndMore.com, you guys. Get your merchandise. Help support the channel. Help support the brand. Um, those of you who are fairly new watching, we've been doing this for nine years. I've never missed a single storm. I have about 3,500 videos. And most of them are lengthy. So I invest a lot of time in this. I respond to, or at least I, I try to respond to literally every single comment. The only comments I don't respond to are the ones that are in my held for review folder because I never look in that folder because sometimes the comments are mean and I am human and I don't like to read mean comments. So I just never go in there. I'm sure there's some normal comments that the YouTube bots thought may have been bad comments, but um, yeah, so just, please understand I do respond to everybody on pretty much all my videos you won't see any comment in the comment section not responded to but my gosh look at this guys this is just something special oh, it is just gorgeous so many people are out here walking in the snow super excited I'm it makes me so happy. It really does. I remember the feelings I would get as a youngster coming up here. We had a house in Lake Arrowhead though. My mom did from when I was 10 to 15 years old. And so I didn't spend much time here. The only time I spent in this town was we would drive up here in the morning to go skiing and stay on the ski slopes all day and then hop back in the car and drive back to Arrowhead. I never spent any time up here until I was in my late teens, early 20s. A good friend of mine's folks had an absolute gargantuan mansion right on Cove Street, um, a lot closer to the Big Bear Dam, right on the lake. It like wrapped around the corner 
like a 10,000 square foot house, just unbelievable. We had a lot of parties up there. I mean, guys, we partied like like rock stars there. It was it was a lot of fun. So we're getting through the village now and the rest of the way we're going to be headed towards towards the dam and then uh, yeah around the lake it's going to be great it is going to be great You're the man. I'm really hoping we don't hit much traffic going this way. Tep typically, this is not gonna be much traffic, but you see all these cars coming in. That's why this whole drive, we're gonna be driving against this grain over here on the left. Wait till you see it. There's probably gonna be loads of traffic. Again, people start to truly hesitate big time because of these conditions. And I think that's good to be extra cautious. Oh wow, it's not, not nearly as bad as I thought. I thought it was gonna wrap all the way up here for about a mile. Here's a snow plate place to go sledding and ride a roller coaster. See how many people are standing in that line? I'd love, I would love to do this during a snowstorm. I really would. It's just, uh, and do this meaning go on that roller coaster. But we're, we, if we do, we're we're gonna show up like as soon as they open, just to avoid all all the traffic. Because I, as you can imagine, guys. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the middle of every storm up here, so I'm dealing with so much traffic. Not compared to you guys down there, but it gets really old. <laughs> it really does. Well, stuff's starting to turn white over here. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Mother Nature. I love you so much. You're such an angel. Thank you for being so sweet to me. live feed hope you guys are enjoying it looks like we're getting a ton of comments so that's good what's up everybody I know you can't hear me but hey what's up this is what I've been waiting for y'all this is precisely what I've been waiting for Huh? 
Blanc, tell him I said hello. He's gonna text me right now, watch. There's Boulder Bay Park. Just a gorgeous area. My good friend, probably the best contractor up here by far. His name's Jonathan. He invited me over to one of the houses he's been working on. It's like a 7,500 or 8,000 square foot place right here. He's just awesome. Guys, in the description of all my videos, I've got licensed plumbers, licensed contractor, my licensed electrician friend. So any of you who have Airbnbs or own vacation homes up here, um, I will only refer you the best of the best. I would never ever lead you astray. Yep, yeah, he just texted me. So I told the people, I'm making a video right now, right? And as I passed your house, I honked the horn just to say hi. And I told them I was saying hi to one of my good friends, LOL. So when you watch the video that I'm uploading right now, or as soon as I get home, it's gonna be the first video of all snowfall. When I'm passing your house, just fast forward to that part and you'll see. Just so it wasn't too annoying, I made sure it was a quick little beep. But I knew you would knew it. I knew you would know it was me. Anyway, I gotta get back to focusing on the road, but I was just saying hello, my bro. Yep starting to turn white over here again we're driving into the snowiest part of town even our trees are starting to turn white over here that's my favorite when our trees just become just turn from green to white it's it's so beautiful it is so beautiful So once again, I'm, I'm surprised there's not as many cars coming in right now. But you still are gonna get your extremely slow vehicles going this other way, which is fine, because that's just gonna keep you guys even safer. So whatever it takes to keep my friends on this channel and, and my family on this channel, I should say, safe, then let's do it. that is man everyone thinks the same everyone's pulling over to take pictures in the snow that's just so beautiful it makes me so happy in this type of weather I still wish it was the Christmas holiday season all right we're turning right here we're not going out of town we're turning right here at the Big Bear Dam we're on highway 18 turning on to highway 38 right now Roads are already a little bit slick, believe it or not. Wow, it's really getting white over here. Got 
got to be extra careful. Temperature's 34 degrees still. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So yeah, we're on Highway 38, AKA North Shore. Roll down my window for a few minutes, enjoy the cool air coming in. Oh wow, look at that lake. Look at that lake. It's something else, guys. It is something else. and we're coming up to a YouTube friend. We're gonna give him a little shout out once we get up here a little bit. What's up, Cameron? Where you at, bro? Where you at? We got one of our friends on the channel who has a house somewhere over here. It may be up a little bit further. I think we're getting close. I love shouting you guys out, man. Mr. Cameron, bro. What up, dog? All right, here we go. Cameron, let me know if I got that for you properly. I hope I did. If not, I'll be doing this drive again. <laughs> not funny, not funny. All right, here we go. Coming into the eagle habitat on the left hand side.
right, we're entering fawn skin right now. Always important, follow the speed limits up here as they slow down because you're entering a little town and you wanna do that. Again, we, it is a small town. One of our sources of income up here is um, ticketing people and stuff like that. So if you wanna avoid that, then just go extra, extra cautiously. Make sure you're going the speed limit. This building's been in a lot of movies right there. A lot of movies. This whole little area right here has been actually. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Jack Frost. <laughs> really dumb horror movie, but when I saw that building, I'm like, no way, that's fawn skin, oh my gosh. I get excited. And then there was a, a movie I think called War Games with Matthew Broderick. There was a, a, a good sized scene filmed at our little 7-Eleven right out front of it on Big Bear Boulevard and then some other scenes filmed um, at some houses right on the lake. And I know that the house scenes were definitely Big Bear because you could see the observatory in, in, in the background. It's just so cool to see that stuff on TV, you know? Back when movies were awesome. Besides Jack Frost. I can't wait to watch that fight tonight, you guys. I cannot wait. Sean Strickland against Drakus Duplessis. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an absolute war. Temperature went back up to 35. It looks like we have 43 people watching the live feed right now. I can't wait to get back to talk to you guys live. That's gonna be great. Oh, Craig just showed up. What's up, Craig? So when I'm at my house and the camera that's doing the live feed, I'm just talking to you guys, hanging out on the couch while you guys are looking out on that nice view. And um, But unfortunately, I, I can't talk to, to you guys here because this is just me watching the live feed. I'm not watching it. I'm obviously driving, but you know what I mean. straight ahead kind of hard to see in the snow a little bit bummed out the temperature went up a degree but that's okay we're still getting all snow it's all snow yo tell them real quick because I do voice texting I'm about halfway done making this video around the lake I'll be back soon to talk to you guys okay we're out of fawn skin speed limits pick up a little bit I believe the speed limit's 40. I mean, I should know in the 
I, I mean, I should just know because I've been doing this for nine years. 3,500 videos later. I can't believe it, you guys. That's a lot. Please do me a huge favor, you guys. I, I feel I've earned the subscription and the likes on my video for all the effort that I put into it. I'd really appreciate it if you did that to try to help me out. You know, and, and being totally honest, I, I, I hope maybe someday this channel will eventually pay my bills, you know? At least another eight or nine years at, at this rate. But you know what? That's like investing in long-term investments. So I'm very hopeful. And with you guys helping me out by liking and subscribing and sharing these videos and telling all your friends who come up to Big Bear to check out my channel, that would help me out a lot. I'd appreciate it. And thank you. So I'm gonna have so many comments to respond to when I get back because as I'm up as I'm recording this video The previous video that I just did as a storm update that just uploaded oh, This is gonna be a long day But I love it Temperature went back down to 34 I'm very happy about this very happy. You know it's snowing good when you can't see Snow Summit across the lake. I love it. getting a lot of text messages from friends asking me what's going on, how's the weather. I love that stuff. I love it when they count on me. This is Stanfield Cutoff. We would usually turn right here to end the video, but we are not going to. That guy was in a great mood. Again, I love seeing that. This type of weather brings out the best in people. I thought maybe I was just weird because I would always feel so good when it snows. Like it would just, I, I, I could get through anything, anything difficult in my life. But I've noticed that for a lot of other people, it's got a tremendous impact like that as well. back up to 35. Come on. A couple more hours though, temperature's gonna plummet, I'm hoping. Plummet. So we are 
definitely in the Big Bear City area now. And of course, we're heading into the side of town that doesn't get as much snow, but it's still snowing nice and steady over here, so that's a, that's a great sign. That just shows me how strong of a little storm this actually is. If, if we're getting a steady, persistent precipitation over here, that just gives me hope for my area that we will get more snow. Again, it just shows the strength of the storm to fight through the dry, desert, arid climate that we are driving into right now. And Highway 38 right now is about to turn into Highway 18. It's really weird how this works, you guys, but that's the way the cookie crumbles around here. Five seconds, it's gonna go from 38 to 18. Three, two, one. Now we're on Highway 18. Go figure. Temperature jumped up to 36. And we're gonna be calling this drive a day. Obviously, once it starts to pick up a little more, things start to change and look different out here. I'll be back out here doing what I do. Thank you guys again. Hit the like and subscribe button as I asked earlier to please help me out. And uh, yeah, I will I'll, I'll be back. Get in the chopper. Ah, ah. January 20th, 2024. We're turning right on Paradise. This is the last way to get from North, or South, North Shore to South Shore without having to go all the way around Baldwin. So here we go. And I will talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out and let it snow, baby.